so just wanted to do a bit of an update. I've been vegan for two and a half months now and I thought I would just show you what I got from the market today, what I keep in my cupboard and my fridge. So today at the market I got my big box of bananas. This is 10 kilograms worth and I got that for 20 bucks. I don't know if that's good or not, but yeah. And I also just got like spinach, watermelon, pineapple, strawberries, mushrooms, pumpkin. I just got all my fruit and veg from there and then um, everything else that I keep in my fridge and my cupboard I just get from Flannery's or do the best I can from Woolworths and stuff like that. So these are from Flannery's and pretty much like they're my staple cooking item. There's no added salt, it's just organic diced tomatoes. Um, use them with my rice, my pasta. They're really great. This is the pasta that I use, 100% corn pasta. That's from Woolworths. It's really good. Um, all my spices. This is like my dried fruits. This is like my figs, berries, vital greens, which I put in all of my smoothies. Um, this is my coconut sugar, no egg, which you can use in baking and good egg replacer. My rice, yeah, lots of little goodies up there. And then the only stuff that I kind of have for me in the fridge is all my juices, which I have ready to go. My coconut water, um, pestos, my um, olives, all my cut up fruit and veg that I use for cooking, my lettuce. Um, Almond milk, which my family's been using, been getting them off milk, yay! So yeah, that's pretty much, and then I just have tons of other fruit and veg in there. So that's pretty much all I use and have, so I kind of keep it as fresh as possible throughout the day, and then have my cooked meal at night, raw till four still. And yeah. First of all, I just want to say sorry for the quality of this video. It's being filmed on my laptop, so it's not going to be that great. But I just wanted to talk to you all about motivation. So how I stay motivated. I get lots of people asking me, like, Eden, help. I can't stay motivated. I fall off, I fall off the wagon after a week and go straight back into the same old habits. Well, Motivation for me really was self-taught. In the beginning, I would wake up most mornings and blow the gym off, not want to go, feel like I wanted to sleep more. So my tips for staying motivated is set an alarm in the morning. Try and go first thing. And if you, most people say, I can't, I don't have enough time, or you have to make the time to, to work out. So I go to bed at around 8 to 9 o'clock in the night, and I wake up at around 6 and I feel fully rested, awake, I jump out of the bed in the mornings because you have to get enough sleep. If you're going to bed at 10 to 11 and setting an alarm at 6, you're going to hear that alarm go off and be like, no way, and <laughs> put it down and keep sleeping. So that's my first word of advice. Also, when my alarm goes off in the morning, the first thing I see is this super hot photo of Ellie Gonzalez. And so when I stare at that in the mornings, that definitely kicks my butt into gear and makes me want to work out. So even if you print out some photos of quotes, goals, goal bodies, all of that kind of stuff, put it right near you, like put it on your wall that you look at as soon as you wake up because that's going to be the first thing you see and that's definitely going to give you some motivation. Um, also with motivation, in the beginning you're going to kind of feel like you're faking it and you've, you do, you kind of have to fake it to make it with motivation. Um, you've got to have reasons why you want to, you know, why you want to exercise. So for me, I want to exercise because obviously I, I want to look good. I want to feel fit and healthy. And when I do exercise, I feel the best. And the more you exercise, the more energy you get, the fitter you feel. And motivation comes with seeing the results and getting more energy and your motivation just starts to build and build and build because you're loving it and why would you want to stop and go back to your old ways when you feel so great now. You also have to keep your exercises and everything kind of still exciting. You don't want to get stuck in the same boring, you know, 
routine and food and all of that because you just you're gonna start to hate it so whenever I feel like I really need to change things up or you know I'm not feeling as motivated I go buy myself a new gym outfit I'll find a new recipe that I love and I cook something or you know I change it up a bit so with my exercises I'll do something different like do a different class at the gym or you know, take my exercises outside and yeah, you just got to really keep it exciting and keep changing things up. And if you're lost and you don't know how to start, I know I was at the beginning. Um, the best thing I did was started doing group classes with other people and I got a personal trainer and so she taught me, you know, what equipment to use and I didn't feel so embarrassed or didn't know what I was doing at the gym and now I feel confident enough to go into like the boys weight section and know what I'm doing confidently. So I think that's a huge thing. And I mean, you don't have to have a gym. That's a, another big thing. You really don't have to have a gym. If I wanted to exercise at home, I'd go for around a 20 to 40 minute fast walk or a jog and either at home or at the park, I'll do like a little circuit. So I'll do um, 10 burpees, 20 squat jumps, 10 push-ups, and then 20 Russian twists, and I do that set three times. So simple things like that is, it's going to get your heart rate up and you're going to feel great afterwards. When I go to the gym, the exercises I do, which like this morning, um, I did hit running. So I try and do hit running three or more times a week. I love to run. So hit running, I, this is on the treadmill, I walk on speed six for around five minutes and then I do four minute intervals so each minute I increase my speed I start on 10 then I go to 11 12 and 13 so each minute I jump up a speed and then I take two minute breaks of walking on speed six and I do that around three to four times and then afterwards I'll just go do some squat jumps abs whatever I really feel like and then um, I do two days a week of pure weights. So I do leg day on Monday and Wednesday I do my upper body. And then Friday with my trainer I do like a crazy ass circuit hit training where she tortures me. <laughs> so I constantly am doing something different. I'm not doing the same walk every day or just going for a run every day because you're gonna get bored so that's what I do so thanks for watching the video I hope you found it useful um, anything else you guys want me to talk about or what my next video should be about hit me up on my tumblr or my Facebook or my Instagram and let me know I love any input I am sorry that this video was a bit late I did get all of your messages I am sorry um, I hope I hope <laughs> I promise the next one won't be too far away um so yeah i really appreciate everyone watching so thank you